In the first video, we saw the main aspects of the interface and how to modify them. And now we are going to continue with the navigation in the 3D view. Remember that if you are enjoying this series and want to go deeper, I invite you to take a look at my complete Blender course for beginners. You have the link in the video description. And now, let's go to the next level. The 3D view is this whole area that we have here, which is where all the objects in our scene are contained. The cube, the initial light, and the camera are contained in this three-dimensional space. And we can also find them here, in the outliner. And to locate us in the 3D view, we have the axes. The axes are these lines that we see here in colors. We have the green one, which is the Y-axis, which indicates the depth towards the front and the back. We have the red one, which indicates the laterality to the left and to the right. And we have the Z-axis, which is not visible here, but it is a vertical line that indicates the height. So we can locate them with these lines, or also visualizing the 3D Dismo, which is this object that we have here, which also indicates the position. Through it, we can also orbit. Throughout the course, I'll be telling you the important keys that we're going to use. But also down here, we have an add-on, where you can see all the keys that I'm using. So everything that I'm doing, and the commands that I'm using, are going to be reflected down here. This way you can easily locate them if you have any doubts about the shortcuts. Well, we have three types of movements to navigate in the 3D view. We have the first one, which is orbiting, which is simply to rotate around a point in the center. And we can do this with middle click. Or also, if here in the preferences we have emulate 3 button mouse active, we are going to be able to do it with alt and left click. This is useful mostly if we are using a digitizing tablet. The second movement that we can do to move in the 3D view is panning. To pan, we press shift and middle click. And with that, we move having the camera from the same point of view. If we have emulate 3 button mouse active, we can do it with shift, alt, and left click. And finally, we have the zoom. To zoom, we can simply use the mouse wheel or we can use control and middle click. This way, we zoom in on the object. And if we have emulate 3 button mouse active, we can use control alt and left click also. So, these are some fundamental shortcuts that I recommend you learn as quickly as possible because they are the most used shortcuts in the 3D view. All these buttons can be found here on the right. From here, we can orbit, zoom, pan, but it will be much more agile if we learn them directly. And well, in the 3D view, we have two types of view, the orthographic view and the perspective view. And that view, we can change it from here, pressing this button. In the orthographic view, we see the objects completely regular, without any deformation. And when we activate the perspective view, it looks a little more real. There are already some vanishing points towards which all the lines are directed. To switch between perspective and orthographic, we can use the 5 key. And the level of deformation of this perspective is marked here in the view panel by the focal length. The smaller this value is, the more the perspective deformation will be. And the larger it is, the more it's going to look like the orthographic view, and there's going to be less deformation. As we model, it is sometimes convenient to switch between orthographic and perspective. But for now, let's leave it here, at an intermediate value that you are comfortable with. We also have some options to align our 3D view. If we press the one key on the numeric keypad, the view will be aligned to the front view. Here above, we can see the view we are in. Here, we are in front view and orthographic view. With 3, we go to the right side view and with 7 to the top view. And for the back view, we press Control 1. And for the left side view, Control 3. And for the bottom view, Control 7. We can do it from the number panel. Or we can here in preferences, activate emulate numpad. And this way we can do it with the numeric keypad that we have on the left side of our keyboard. Okay, now if we want to focus on an object, I'm going to select it. And let's say we're in this position in the camera. If I want to zoom in, I'm going to press the dot key on my numeric keypad. And the camera is going to zoom all the way in on this object. If I have, for example, this lamp, and I press the dot key on my numeric keypad, it's going to focus. 
And finally, if I want to isolate an object, I will select it. And I will press the key that is to the left of the one, and we isolate it from the others. Then all the other objects still exist, here you can see them in the outliner, but they are excluded from this view. If I press the same key again, we can see them again. So this is the way we can move into 3D view. I recommend that you use the shortcuts as much as possible so that you learn them quickly. And this way we are going to speed up the work speed a lot. And here on the screen, I am going to leave you an image with all the shortcuts that we used during this video session.